Grace to you and peace in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This year, all five synods will be meeting in convention and considering, among other things, the next steps in structural renewal. Last summer at our national convention, we approved in principle the outline for structural renewal. But this year, synods will be taking a look at the specifics of the implementation process and details that will change synods and congregations. I have a confession to make to you. When we began this process, it was financially driven. We'd taken a look at the, the declining membership, decreasing finances, and aging congregations, and we were concerned and knew that we needed to do something to address these challenges. But it wasn't long into the, spirit, into the process before the Holy Spirit took over and it became mission-driven instead. As we have asked, how can we be a church in mission for others? We realize that the majority of mission and ministry that happens in the church happens at the congregational level. So we've tried to create a structure that will support and encourage that mission and ministry. It'll provide a new opportunity for local outreach and um, service within your own local communities. Will there be financial savings? Well, yes, there will with the reduction of synod offices, number of councils, committees, and so on, there will be cost savings. But we're gonna take these savings and invest them in the support of mission and ministry for congregations and areas. We believe that this way we can enhance our capacity for mission and ministry across the church. It's a good thing to save money, but invest in mission. But there's more. Structure renewal by itself cannot bring renewal to our church. It has to be accompanied by a commitment to spiritual renewal. We need this call to deeper discipleship as together we pray, read, worship, study, serve, give, and tell. It's only when we weave together both structure renewal and spiritual renewal that we will truly grow as a church in mission for others. You will be seeing further exciting pieces of communication about the specific details that will be coming to your Synod Convention in the next while. I ask you to look for them, read them, discuss them, and to pray for our church and for your Synod as it prepares for its convention. God bless us all as we open ourselves up and prepare to embrace renewal.